This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 17, Complex Sprite Movement, Part 8. I see a bunch of code. I gotta test it out. Is this gonna be our... Nope. Ooh, it's our helicopter guy. Are we adding stuff? Just hit... Ooh, we have a coin? Oh my gosh, are we gonna make him collect the... Alright, let's see here. Jumping. Increasing a sprite's Y velocity inside the counter pattern. Counter pattern means equals plus or minus can uh, simulate gravity. By adding user interactions, which I assume means like key or mouse, you can make your sprite appear to jump as well. Huh. For starters, you'll make a simple jump and then make it more realistic looking more realistic looking in the next level. Do this. A sprite has already been created for you that falls because its Y velocity is increased in oh yeah. It is increased inside the draw loop. You'll need to make this sprite appear to jump. So it's falling because if we look at this show grid, right? Y0 is here. Y400 is here. So inside of this, if I am if I am increasing my Y velocity like I am here, if I am increasing that, that means it's going to be going down. So let's see. Um... Inside the if block, you'll need to make this, this this sprite appear to jump. Inside the if block that checks whether the up arrow key has been pressed, set the sprite's y velocity to negative 5. Discuss with your neighbor. You're now my neighbor. Congrats. Uh, why does this code run the way it does? How would using a number besides negative 5 affect how the code works? How could jump you jump higher or lower? All right. So what we need to do is, inside the if block that checks whether the up arrow key has been pressed, set the sprite's y velocity to negative 5. Okay, so we need... Oh wait, do we change it by 5? Appear to jump. Oh no, we won't... Okay, got it. So we're going to set it to, okay, so variable equals, whoop, this is our if statement, right? And if means that the computer checks each time the draw loop runs, which is 25, 30 times a second, it's going to check, hey, has that arrow key been pressed? If so, it will run the code inside of it. So sprite.y, we want to change up just like it says. Uh, we don't have anything named sprite, we have something named character. And we want to set it equal, just like it says, to negative 5. Now, negative 5 is actually going to make it, well, it's going to make it go up. However, the character won't go up forever, because it will only change to negative 5 when we hit the arrow key. But then immediately after, and again, keep in mind, this is like 25 times a second, it's going to start going, uh, it's going to start decreasing the speed. So it'll be negative 5 headed upwards, and then it'll be negative 9, uh... 4.9, then 4.8, then, and it will keep going down until we hit up again. Let's test. I'm going to hit up. Whoa. All the way to the top. Wow, it's flying. All right, let's see what other stuff it said here. Discuss with your partner why this code, why this code w runs the way it does. How would using a number besides 5 affect how the code works? How could you make it jump higher or lower? So to jump higher, you would increase this, right? So you would decrease it. So negative 10 would be, well, we would go up even faster. To jump lower, I'm going to say negative 2. Let's test it out. Up. Oh, it's still too fast. Okay. Oh, that's because I've made a mistake. Don't do that. Do the velocity. Goodness. Make sure it's velocity, right? You want it to be velocity y. Let's try it now. Up. Ah. And I have to hit it again. If I keep hitting it, I can go up, but I'm going to stop dropping. Start dropping. Okay. So let's do negative 5 now and test that. Run. And there we go. Right? Instead of setting it to negative 2, which is what character.y did, you want to do something like this. Character.velocity. Awesome.
So that looks, well, good to go. Here's the code I got. All right, onward.